Welcome to the WOMTECH member tutorial. This is Meredith Oliver speaking. I'm with Meredith Communications. I'm located in Raleigh, North Carolina, and our website is creatingwow.com. We are so pleased to work with WOMTECH over the past few months and develop their brand new website, which you can find at www.womtech.com. We thought a quick tutorial on how to use the website as a member and get the most possible benefit out of your membership and your online directory listing might be really helpful. We know this is a big change for everybody and we wanna make sure all members know how to access their information and make the most of their membership. So the first thing we wanna make sure that you know how to do and can do successfully is log in. So First of all, make sure you're on the new WOMTECH website. Again, that's WOMTECH.com. Go up to the top right corner and go to member login slash profile. That's the most visible and easiest way to log in. So go up to that and click on it now. Once you click on that, down below, it will open up a member login area. Now, if you remember your login from the old website, you're good to go. It's exactly the same. So your username will be an email address. Whatever email address WOMTECH has on file for you, that will be your username, same as the previous website. Your password will also be the same as the previous website. If you can't remember your password, you can use the forgot my password option and it will email it to you. If all else fails, call the corporate office or email at info at womtech.com and they'll make sure that you can log in. We wanna make sure everybody can get into the members only area. So please make sure you can log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in now, click log in and I'm in. How do I know I'm in? It says it right here, you have logged in successfully. Yay, something's going right for the day, right? So here it's gonna show you your membership profile. And this is where you can see when was the last time you logged in. It's going to show you what chapters have been associated with your membership. At one point, I was with the Winter Park, the awesome, fabulous 50s Winter Park chapter when I lived in Florida. Boo, I wish I was still there. Um, it also, for now, is showing me a member of the corporate team um, so that I could do this demonstration with you today. Hey, somebody start a chapter in Raleigh already, will ya? So at any rate, your chapter location would show right here and it will tell you which one you belong to and when you expire. It will also give you the Renew Now button, which you can click on and go straight to our renewal membership page where you can renew your chapter uh, and make sure your category stays blocked. Okay, I'm gonna use the back button, which is bad, but I'm gonna use the back button and get back to the member profile. Okay, now, let's say you're enjoying your WOMTECH membership so much, I mean, you're loving it, that you wanna go and add a new category. Well, you can click on this button and it'll take you to the add new page where you can fill in what you're requesting to block out another category and then you get a whole additional minute 60 second commercial at the meetings. And that's really valuable. One of the things in your member profile you want to make sure you do is upload your headshot and company logo because the member directory, I can tell you from experience with websites that absolutely people tend to click on things more when there is an image, a, a, a picture associated with it. So if you need a headshot, call Jeff Hawkins, he can help you, uh, or somebody in your chapter, if you have a photographer member in your chapter, but you can use your, your get your headshot, get a nice professional, no glamour shots please ladies, photo in here that's current and up to date, and then your member logo. Now you might be saying, how do I upload that to here? It's really very easy. If these did not exist, then you would simply just click the browse button. You would browse for the picture in on your computer. Uh, maybe you keep your pictures under my documents, my pictures, something like that but you browse for it until you locate the picture file on your computer. 
you would select the file you want, click open, and then submit changes and it will upload it. I'm not going to do that because mine's already here. <laughs> Same with your logo. You browse for it on your computer, find the file you want, click open, and then submit changes. If you need to delete the uh, logo or photo that's already here, click the delete button, click submit changes. Okay, it's just that simple. I'm going to uncheck both of these and uh, I'm going to delete because I don't want to change out my headshot for lovely blue hills or whatever that was. Now, you're also going to notice another very important thing. Up at the top, above member profile is edit contact information. Let's click that now. This is where you can edit the contact information that's on file with uh, Kathleen and her team at the corporate office. Please be sure we have your correct mailing address, um, state, city, zip code, uh, phone numbers, and email. This is really important. Um, this information is also what provides us information for the WOMTEC member directory. So it's important that all your information is up to date. Now, that, this can be your personal contact information. This could be your business. It could be the same or different. That's totally up to you. And then a really cool feature with the new site is down here at the bottom, Member Only Savings Club Offer. This is where you can type up to 500 characters uh, an offer. And uh, our offer, just to give you an example, $50 off our standard website scorecard. We have a website scorecard where we can evaluate your website. We charge $350 for that. WOMTEC members get it for only $300. So you can type in any offer you want here, and then it's going to show. Now, if for some reason, some privacy issue we're not aware of, you do not want to show in the WOMTEC directory. I don't know, maybe you're in the witness protection program or something, <laughs> just kidding. Um, you can click right here, privacy, and then click save changes. WOMTEC will still have all your information on file so they can get in touch with you, but you would not show in the directory. And remember, very important, whenever you edit anything on this screen, you must click save changes before you leave the screen or it will not have saved. Okay, let's go back to the main member profile page. You can do that by clicking this button at any time, at any point in the website. Click this. We're back to the main screen. You may change your password here to the website if you don't like the one that you're using. Again, click here to get back to the main screen. And of course, you can log out. There are some other neat features of once you are logged in you can see a members only area of the website. We have a welcome letter. You may go to the logo page and download the proud member of WOMTEC logo to add to your email campaigns, any kind of advertising that you do. You would simply right click on the image and then select save image as. Here we go. Now you can see it. Save picture as like this and then decide where on your computer and that you want it and then click save. So that's how you do it. So everybody has access to that logo now. Uh, you can also learn more about our member dis only discount card program and it's here and it shows you a sample of the card. And then finally, and maybe one of the biggest benefits of being a logged in member would be, pardon my email there, would be the member directory. And here's where you get detailed information about a particular member. So let's say you want to just pick a chapter. How about Lake Nona? I love the Lake Nona chapter. <laughs> I used to be part of that chapter. So here's where you could see everybody who's in the Lake Nona area. And if you take the time to fill in that members club discount area, you would see right here below the contact information, WOMTEC members receive $75 off call for information. So if you take that time to fill in that, it's going to show what your specific uh, uh, discount is for WOMTEC members right underneath here. 
All right, well, that's just a brief tour around the new WOMTEC website. There'll be more tutorials to come, but I hope this has been helpful to you. And again, I'm Meredith Oliver with Meredith Communications, and you can find out more about us at creatingwow.com. Thanks. Have a fantastic day.